What's going on folks? Uh, Fitzy with Fitzjack in here. I just recently was asked to do a walkthrough of my uh, Grumman 129 Solo Canoe. And I actually just got off the water fishing with it, so I figured what better time than now. So I'll go ahead and cover the specs. I'll give you my reasons why I choose this canoe over my kayaks when I fish. If you've been watching my channel at all, I primarily fish out of fishing kayaks. But uh, every once in a while, I like to grab the canoe, and I'll, and I'll cover why. Uh, I'll go over some of the modifications I've made to the canoe, and then I'll also uh, cover some of the accessories you can get for this canoe or any other canoe to make your fishing experience a little bit better. So let's get right to it. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about are the specs. Uh, it's a solo canoe, obviously, and it has an overall length of 12 feet 9 inches, hence the name 129. It has a width of 29 and a half inches. And it has a center depth height of 13 inches. According to the website, the weight is 50 pounds. And I can easily lift this over my head. And uh, I'm not a big guy. I'm 5'10", 200 pounds. So it's relatively lightweight uh, compared to a plastic kayak or canoe. And it has a max capacity of 545 pounds. Some of the advantages include... Uh, it's lightweight design obviously makes loading a breeze. I can easily pick it up in one swift movement and uh, Lift it over my head and set it on top of my car and then just got to throw the straps on and I'm ready to go uh, Along with that unloading is just as easy undo the straps pick it up set it down this also lends itself for uh, making difficult launches a lot easier to do um, as opposed to having a heavy plastic kayak. Uh, also because it's an aluminum canoe, it's impervious to the elements. I don't have to worry about uh, damage from the sun, the rain, snow, ice, etc. The other thing that's nice about this over the, the kayaks is because it's 29 and a half inches, it does cut through the water a little bit cleaner. So it's a little bit quicker. Um, it's not as sluggish as my kayak. So. The only other thing I wanted to talk about real quick was stability. Uh, this is not as stable as my fishing kayaks. I have um, some high-end uh, fishing kayaks that are very stable on the water. I can easily stand, cast, set the hook in. This though, for 29 and a half inches wide, uh, does a, a, a fairly nice job of being stable. It definitely is stable enough when you're in the sitting position, but I can stand and fish out of this on the water. And I have, and I do. Um, it is a little wobbly, a little tipsy, you know. Um, I find if I don't wear my shoes, I'm, I'm a little bit more balanced. I've only done a couple major mods. The first being uh, I added bungee cord to the front. I just drilled a couple of holes and knotted the bungee cord on the other side of the holes. And this just acts as a paddle holder. I can just slip my paddle blade underneath the bungee, and that secures my paddle when I want to go to my fishing pole or whatever the case may be. I also added an anchor trolley uh, that runs pretty much the whole length of the boat and all I did was install some bungee and pulleys on both the fore and aft ends and then uh, added the rope and obviously the ring that my anchor would attach to. The canoe itself comes with this aluminum seat that's bolted right in. But I wanted a little bit of back support, so I bought this seat. It's from Bass Pro. Easily, I've fished out of this thing for eight, ten hours without any issues. Another accessory that I bought for it, and all this does is this just this is nice because I can strap this bag that I'm going to talk about here in a second. I can strap that and strap the seat, fold it down. It comes with this little uh, portage strap. It'll keep the seat closed. I can put that right on top of my car, and uh, when I get to the water, everything's already strapped on there. One less thing I have to prep. That's the seat, and then underneath the seat, I bought a bag. Just a little bag 
It's made by Granite Gear. They make a bunch of other bags. Bags that hang from the floor. This bag's an underseat bag. And I can just carry some uh, some supplies in here. I usually carry my camera batteries, some other camera accessories. Uh, you can put pliers in here. Uh, you can put a tackle box in here for easy access or something that you might frequent a lot. So those are the two basic accessories I own. On the back here is another mod that I did. And I just added this little bit of foam. Just a pool noodle that I just taped down there. It's kind of chintzy, but it works. It just gives me when I lean back in the chair, my back, my lower back will be right up against this. So I just have a little bit of cushion. But uh, that's basically all I have for uh, for my overview, my walkthrough of my Grumman 129 solo canoe. Uh, any questions, just post them down in the comments below. I'll leave some links to some other accessories that you can add to your canoe. Uh, Scotty makes rod holders. Um, there's a bunch of other accessories. I'll put a link to the company that manufactures this boat. It's the Marathon Boat Company. They're out of New York. Uh, Marathon, New York. And uh, they're kind of hard to come by, so, but I'll send you a link to the, uh, to the company that produces the boat. And I think they'll have links there uh, for dealers that might be nearby. I think you just type in your, uh, your zip code and, uh, and they'll give you a list of dealers that might, might be nearby. So, uh, as always, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.